I really wish the same was in space, no one can hear you be sick. Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. In the last episode, we went through a trial and tribulation to get Luigi past the Stargate. And in this episode, we have succeeded, and are now going to get to the end of the Star Realm Road, whatever this thing is at this point. And get ourselves, uh, supposedly a Cobalt Star Shard if everything goes according to plan. But things very rarely do in this game, so who knows what's gonna happen. Just wanted to get a battle out of my system before we start things off, and because we were close to a level up, Baby Mario goes to level 24. 2469! Yeah! Oh, uh, if anything could get me better, it's a 69. Uh, stash is looking the best, so plus two, of course. Baby Luigi goes to level 24. Uh, he's got a 69 as well, yeah, double 69. Uh, hmm. Wait, 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 he actually does have a double 69. Oh my god, we have triple 69? Well, I can't upgrade HP or defense, that's for sure. Speed's looking amazing, so we're gonna go with speed. Plus six. Man, we got triple 69s, I never thought I'd see the day. It's like a new record for me. Yay! Uh, let's see, do Mario and Luigi have any 69s right now? I doubt they do, because that would just be way too awesome. Uh, Mario does not. Luigi does not. So yeah, just a triple 69, but I can't be upset about that. It's a triple 69 for Pete's sake. That's amazing. Uh, I'm sick of insane dumb. Woo! Okay, I like how uh, the one benefit of not actually having the icons move around the screen is just like, have them warp around that thing all cool like. Beast your opticals. I do believe that's a Cobalt Star Shard. Oh hey, we're ending this episode early it seems. It'll bring us to a total of four shards, won't it? We must retrieve it. How do, Pikachu? Oh, excuse me! This specific button opens doors and reveals Cobalt Star shards. We got number four, though. Incoming! Thank you very much for choosing Lakitu Travel. Have a nice day. You mean you could just hire a Lakitu to get you up here to Star Hill, but Luigi had to go through like a stinging trial of justice to see if he was worthy enough? Oh my god. Like I said, even the gods of all the galaxies like making fun of Luigi. Boy, oh boy, I've been much shaking, much shaking my butt in the bushes for you boys. Oh, they have to this, they got the thing to do with other scoops. Also, let me just say, like, after uh, reconnecting with this character again and just hearing the word scoop over and over, can I just say how stinking annoying it is to hear the word scoop? I don't know, but like, literally every single solitary photographer character in every show, every game, is obsessed with the word scoop. I know that's like what they do. It's like faulting a cook for mentioning food or, men or something like that, or faulting a musician for mentioning music or whatever. But like, I don't know, I'm just... It's so annoying how often they say it, like in Code Lyoko, how Millie and Tamiya are always talking about scoops and like always say the word scoop over and over. It's almost as annoying as how many times they say the word sulking in that show, but whatever. It's like, I don't know why, the word scoop bothers me because it's just so overly used with photography characters. Get this, I saw the business, I saw big, it's even bigger than big! It's so I saw the was out of the mothership and then it was flying over the Yoshi's Island. Yes, even though that happened once, I bounced right off into the toe, but it's poking down the dome. Yep. Go whoop! She landed right on my noggin by boogity. And that's when it happened. All of it. My, my, my memory came back. I was holding on to this in secret. It's a Cobalt Star Shard. You mean you couldn't check your pockets this entire time? I don't care what stinking amnesia means. You don't know what's in your stinking pants if you have amnesia. Come on. Yeah, but it's one of the same Cobalt Star Shards that you've been searching for. If you find all the Cobalt Star Shards, you'll be able to save the kingdom. That's what you all believe, isn't it? But, but, even if you restore the Cobalt Star, defeating the Shroobs will still be impossible. You plan on skipping those blah, 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 shards, right, Riskus? Oh, yeah. No, don't! Don't! Hold up! Hold up. Pew, 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 pew. The Cobalt Star is attempting to communicate with us. I, of course, am programmed to, for translatification. 
Ahead, ahead, something ahead. A strong power beckons. Hurry, hurry. Sounds like we're on the correct pathway. Back to adventure. Let's go. Okay. So that was a bit awkward. We didn't really get to see what the hubbub was about, but he doesn't want us to put the Cobalt Star back together for some reason. Though it doesn't seem we have much of a choice in the matter because the fragments that we have just up and left us, so we gotta go follow it. Over here we got uh, two pocket chomps and a couple more platforming segments to go. I uh, got another Piranha Planet. Do I fight it? Oh, I got two enemies here. Okay, I was gonna fight it, so it was just one, but there's even another one up there as well. Uh, let's see. Could I... No, I didn't want to do that. Let's see if I could do this. Baby cakes. Uh, get out of there. Use the baby cakes. Climb up here. And you're glitching through the ceiling for a second there. Use the little fans. And doing it again. I don't know if you can see that in recording. And the screen just flashed. Everything's just coming up Millhouse right now. It's great. Go over here. Avoid this. Uh, do not get hit by... I like how my butts were shoved up to babies. Okay, cool. 69! And no one up mushroom. Uh, baby cakes, ahoy! Go, go, go! Zoom, 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 zoom! Fly up here, onto this side. And we're already running out, god darn it. Uh, go over here. Take go this or that way. Uh, this is... Progress? Does it matter? Uh, phooey. Hopefully it doesn't matter too much. Well, this is definitely progress, but the other one might have items for us. Let's see if we could trick it out on the way back. Uh, we got a bean spot right here, which again is useless because I'm not getting anything from Fawful. Uh, hopefully that doesn't upset him too much. It doesn't, like, create so much fury within him that he decides to seek revenge upon all of humanity. Among other things, of course, because he's got a lot of fury, uh, stored up within him. Uh, can't do anything over here. Uh, I think we just we could just keep on going, but is there an item of sorts over there is what I want to know. Survey says I can't really tell. Let's check. And this, and this determined to find everything up to this point. Might as well keep going. Aha! There's... <coughs> oh, gee, oh, geez. There's coins. And there's a hit-free badge. Okay, so it wasn't a completely waste of time. A hit-free badge. It uh, uses as many attack items as you like until you take damage. So it's kind of like the ultimate badge that Fawful has, except it runs out of usefulness after we get hit. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Very overpowered, though, so I'm probably not going to equip right now going to get these guys once again. I know I'd be like the thing in the middle right there where the save block is. Uh, it kind of looks like a uh, chow when you think about it, like the little round head and the star on top of it. Kind of looks like a chow. But we're not at the chow garden. The beloved chow garden. I don't know if you like I I like being in the chow garden but like I never actually cared about any of the mini games. I just sort of hunt out with the chows whenever I need like a chill moment. Uh, were you guys like that too? I know like everyone was always talking about like oh we love the chow garden. It's one of the best parts of Sonic Adventure 2 but like I never actually did what you're supposed to do there. I just watched the chows in the garden. I never actually played any of the games or raised them properly. Uh, let's jump up here. Do the spin. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Speed rain tactic, possibly. Uh, not that. Jump over here and here. Reunite. And keep going. Jumpity, 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 jump, jump, jump. And who the heck is this dude up here throwing a bunch of spears? Why, it's not the piranha planet. Oh, wait, he was th throwing little piranhas, not spears at us. Okay. Get those things and keep on going. And we enter the Chow Garden. I uh, do not want to save right now. Got a warp pipe block, got a save block. Gee, I wonder what's about to happen. Not only that, but we got some items. Two red peppers and two refreshing herbs. And two ice flowers. As well as two copy flowers and two ultra drops. Oh my Christ, I'm going to sneeze so stinking hard. Oh God, I'm... God, I am barely keeping it together. I'm just, I'm so, so close to just collapsing. Let's see if we can just finish this LP already. 
Getting closer and closer. Yoinks! I'm a monster. It's a danger. The cobalt star. Mario, my, my sketch. The sketch I drew. The answer is there. The hidden answer. Rub the sketch. The dirt smudge. Rub it. Thankfully, they didn't give us a tutorial with his dying breath on how to rub. Mario, what you see, there is... A reused boss! And reused torture! Let's go. We gotta fight this guy again. Is he immune to jumping? I can't remember. He is, okay, good to know. Just wanted to test that out real quick. At least I didn't waste an actual bros item on it. He is basically like that guy we fought in Peach's Castle a million kajillion hours ago, but now he is spiky so we can't jump on him. So instead, we will red shell him to death. Hooray! I believe he's also weak to ice because they just gave us ice flowers, so we'll try that out later on. What the fruit was that? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use ice flower. Probably not a good idea to use the mixed flower because it's fire based. One oh eight. Okay, not super great, but not super terrible either. Not terrible, but not impressive. Uh, it's so lame because like all my attacks are jumping based, so this might actually be a difficult fight. Oh, god darn! I, went, I looked away for one second to look at the recording, and oh god, this looks familiar. Get away from all this! He's swirling around a. Uh, not a chain jump, but like it's just a wrecking ball. How much do I need to go? He's going for Mario. Okay, go. God darn it. That was unfortunate. That was a really weird attack. Okay. Right, we broke out of time, but it was not enough to avoid taking damage. So, bring back Mario. It's thinking crazy that, like, we have not bought... I'm pretty sure we haven't bought a single one-up this entire adventure, and yet we still have regular one-ups, and we haven't even used the one-up supers. It's thinking amazing how much, uh, items, how many items they give you in this game. Uh, use the red shell again. Do not distract myself this time. Almost messed up right there. Okay, that's pretty good. 281. And for Mario, let's see what a mixed flower does. Not sure if he'll be resistant to it or not. There's only one way to find out. It does 225. Very, very good. Uh, he's still in it. Okay, we actually have a fight that lasts more than two turns. It's a Christmas miracle. Looks really cool. He's spinning around like that. Uh, he's going for Mario, and of course, Mario's always the last one to get out. Oh, god darn it. I always jumped too early. And then, there you go. Hit him. Don't you dare die. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't. Okay, good. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to end up killing him with a counterattack, and then I'll not get the experience for Mario. On a boss, that is not good. Okay, I think after this we're probably going to switch Mario's equipment around so that he is no longer a glass cannon because it was fun for a while, aka the entire game, but uh, when, we're, when we head into the final area, it's probably not going to be very good for us to keep it that way. Okay, 142. Uh, he's using that again. Get out of here. 
Uh, he's going for Luigi, but we still need to free both of them. God darn it. Uh, hurry up and hit it. Okay, and jump. Okay, we actually got the timing correct this time. Use the red shell once again. That's the item of choice in this fight. Okay, 242. Very, very nice. And use a smash egg just to smash things up or to mix things up. I'm actually using a, a mixed flower. Mix whatever. God darn it. Uh, okay, that's a way to mix things up. It's like the healing little bobble thing with you. Uh, he just decides to go on his face, and now I could go ahead and use copy flowers! Hooray! Not sure why he decides to do that, but whatever. I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna take advantage of the situation in front of me. God darn it! Ugh, whatever it's A. Go ahead and use the uh, copy flower once again. Okay, there you go. And uh, he's dizzy. Is he dead? Uh, he shrinks, and- Oh, he's angry now! Okay, this fight's a lot tougher than I thought it was. Uh, he spits a UFO out of his gullet. Four turns- Oh, we have four turns to finish this fight, otherwise we die. And I didn't save, so this is gonna be fun. Let's see if we could do it! No shame in using bros attacks now. Let's get this again. Okay, good. Oh, hey, hits that and gives us a little more time and gives us the opportunity to use uh, jumping attacks once again. Very, very nice. So, the like commentary is just that a lot of these attacks are focus based, and I'm kind of worried about the time limit. It's just like YouTube Let's Play back in the day, even though I wasn't part of that generation, so I'm really not one to complain. I guess there's literally one half part in all my YouTube history. It's just uh, Pokemon Fire Red Episode 3 is split up into two parts because I uh, didn't have it enabled yet, but then I just like signed up for it. I was like, okay, you can upload whatever your videos you want now. Uh, keep on going, keep on going. Uh, go. Uh, he's back though. Let's go ahead and use the copy flower. Oh, I was really useless. And he is gone. Pretty scary fight first time in the round, but thankfully I am no amateur. I'm a seasoned veteran. And just like that, we have the fifth Cobalt Star Shard. I kind of wish they got split up a bit further apart, like we found the fourth one in the volcano and then the fifth one here. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, whatever. We're done here. That is the shard that was in Toadbird's possession, if I'm not mistaken. I presume that monster attacked them, hoping to take it for his own. Poor Toadbird. Poor Kylie. This is a travesty. There's nothing we could do for them now, is there? Where did the rest of the Cobalt Star go blastering off to? Yeah. Oh, Happies! What a relief to see it returned unharmed. Indeed, now the number of Cobalt Star Shards in our possession totals five. According to my calculators, we should now have access to Shroob Castle. Back to adventure! If we rescue Princess Peach and defeat the Shroobs, we may be able to re-totify these two. Even though one of them's a Koopa. Kind of sad that like they've sort of been with us throughout the majority of our adventure, and it was bad enough when we saw what happened to Todiko for the first time, but we never really grew any sort of connection to her. But with Kylie, who's been with us since 
almost the beginning, and then Toadbird as well. It's really sad that we're ending off uh, this chapter on such a low note. Though, like Stuffwell said, hopefully we could do something to save the two of them after we defeat Princess Shroob. Only one way to find out. Ever so conveniently, there's another time hole here for us that will take us back to Peach's castle. Let's go. And hey, this is where it takes us. Oh, there was a second one. Okay, I was like, well, isn't this where the Toad Town portal is? No, it's a different one. Okay, so if you remember a while back, I was saying that there was some sort of fun fact about the sewers that I couldn't really remember. But I looked it up and it wasn't exactly fun, but kind of a bit of a warning. The Toad Town sewers, they, there is a possibility that you could be stuck down here and unable to finish the game. If you did not access the warp pipe that let you down here to begin with, uh, back when we first got the Bros Ball ability, you would be stuck down here. However, this is only true for certain versions of the game. I don't know which version specifically. If I could find out that information, I'll have Teresa tell you, but I've gotten like conflicting sources telling me that this actually happens in which you are unable to finish the game if you didn't unlock that war pipe from before. And then I have other sources telling me that uh, you could... Uh, if you didn't get that warp pipe from before, there's going to be a block uh, that is not normally there, right at the entrance, that you hit that and then the warp pipe appears that way. So, I'm not really sure which one to believe or if it's just like different versions, because I know that like different versions of the games, they uh, do different things to them. Like, obviously I've mentioned how the bosses in this game have uh, varying amounts of HP depending on how, on what region of the game you're playing, what version you're of the game you're playing. So, there are regional differences, especially for this game specifically, but I don't know about this one. So I would just recommend that whenever you're playing Partners in Time, unlock the war pipe to the sewers on your first visit so you don't have to worry about not being able to finish the game because that would be really crummy, especially in the final area. I say to you, welcome! Welcome to Fawful's Bean and Badge! I don't even remember what voice I gave him. This place, beans are like the precious treasured milk from a famous cow made of jewels. Uh, I guess we'll trade. Uh, I think there's something funny if you try selling. Uh, you, yeah, if you see that sign up there, you pay attention now! You sell, you make coins! You have super stashes? I am not caring. Beans are not for you. <laughs> He's like a will not provide service sign for Mario Brothers. It's really funny. But uh, yeah, he doesn't have any new badges for us, but he could... Uh, we could afford just about anything and everything in this area now. So what do I want from him? Uh, real quick, I think I was like really crummy in explaining this badge right here, the treasure badge. When it says defeat enemies with items and get the items they were using, if an enemy has a chance of dropping an item, this will make it so they drop that item if you have this badge equipped. So, uh, it's very, it's worded very poorly, but thankfully I could explain it a bit better. And then if there are enemy, any enemies in this game that have really rare, rare dropping items, then uh, you could go ahead and go and fight them with this badge and get those really rare collectibles. I really don't think I want anything from him. I, I know those are really cool badges, but... They are either like really broken and it would just make the end of the game really, really easy, or I just don't see the appeal to it, so I don't really want to implement it into my own personal play style. So I think I'm just gonna not buy anything from Fawful, and my cat's gonna go in a box again. Okay, cool. My, uh, but yeah, I, I never call her my cat or just like cat in general. Like, I just think it's funny when it's on like record because uh, I blame her on originally Chris LPs because of his blooper reel, but um. Uh, her name is Lulu, aka Lou, aka Lucy. Whatever, getting completely off topic. What am I just saying? I don't really want to use any of his badges because they don't really appeal to me and how I play the game, so I'm just not even going to bother. And very easy experience right there. If it is true that you end up being stuck down here, the only other way you could get out is by dying to the Goombas because after you get a game over, you could either return to your last save point or you could start over back at Peach's Castle. So... Uh, I guess that is one way to get out of here, but normally there would be a block right here if you did not access this warp pipe before. But since we did, we don't have to worry about that. And we have made it back to Peach's Castle with all five of the Cobalt Star Shards that we need to access the Shroop Castle in the past. Let's talk to Egad one final time before heading out. Hey now, back at last! 
You've collected quite a few of the Cobalt Star Shards now, haven't you boys? Why, well, you've got five of the Cobalt Star Shards. There's only one more to go. Professor, we have data about that Cobalt Star. It appears to possess the power to remove the barrier from the past castle. Hmm, how'd you come to that conclusion? I mean, unless the Cobalt Star itself told you. It did! The spirit of the star mater materialated before us and gave us the very information. I see. Well, if you got it straight from the star's mouth, it's probably accurate. The end's in sight, guys! Oh, God. We'll think our thoughts until you're all safely back here! The time hold to the past castle is on the third floor, fellers. You stay out of trouble now. Although, I guess that's not really an option at this point. Time to make our final preparations before heading out. We don't have to say hi to the Toadsworth brothers this time around, because they taught us everything that they possibly can, but I think it'd be nice to just say hi to them real quick before heading out. Any final gear for us? We got the Royal Trousers, the finest trousers in all the land, the pinnacle of tailor-made talent, and royal pants. Uh, the finest pants in all the land, the pinnacle of tailor-made talent. Luigi isn't really hurting in the defense department, so I don't want to increase his defense even more to lower the attack, but for Mario... Uh, as for badges, we got Drain Badge A, recover lots of HP depending on how many times you damage the foe. Uh, cure Badge A, recover lots of HP every turn, unfortunately it doesn't cure the common cold. Uh, I guess we could buy one of those. I uh, don't want to buy wear it right now, though. Uh, let's see, we got the Shroom Badge A, greatly increase points recovered by using mushrooms in battle. Uh, phooey. And that's it for the badge shop. As for the regular item shop, we got... Uh, max mushrooms, in case you want to recover all your HP if 80 HP wasn't enough for you. Ultra Drop, which recovers 60 HP to every ally. 1-Up Super, which revives all uh, with you with all HP. And that is it. For the Rose items, they now have the Red Shells and Mixed Flowers in their inventory. Uh, I don't think we need any of these. We got pretty good inventory as it is, even though we like, hardly ever bought anything about this game. So I think I'm going to give Mario the block trousers, just because I don't want him dying every turn in the final area. The final uh, area is very, very tough from what I remember. I know everything I remember in this game is really tough, and it ends up being easy, but... Uh, in terms of just, like, I don't think we'll be able to get through the final area scot-free, so... I think I want to get his defense back up, so we will give him the block trousers. His attack's going to go down a bit, but I think we kind of need it at this point, so uh, I think that's good to go. That might be it. Wait, 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 wait. Hair slacks uh, do nothing but good things for Mario, so I guess we'll give him that instead. Okay. I think we're good to go. Just want to check one last time to see if uh, this equipment won't actually be good for us. Doesn't look like it. I'm still okay with the babies being glass cans because we're never really separated from them. So they don't take damage all that much. But yeah, now that's taken care of, let's go ahead and say hi to the Toadsworth brothers real quick. I know they're not actually brothers, but that's why I like calling them. And then we'll make our way to the top of the castle. Got any funny cutscene for us this time? They're not even here. Great. And I don't have the energy to go around the castle looking for them. Maybe they're in his chambers? If they're not in the Toesworth chambers, then I'm just giving up because I'm way too sick and sick to even care. They weren't in there, so I guess I don't have to say goodbye to them. Oh well. I'm sure they'll be fine. And they'd probably be even more worried if we told them where we were going now. So we're just going to leave them in the dark until things are over. That's probably for the best. But yeah, this Let's Play is finally coming to a close. We only have one area left to go. I know it was like... A rather interesting adventure. This was very much a test subject LP in a lot of different ways. Just the recording setup, which I still don't even know how it all worked out, because uh, I have not looked back at any of the footage. Uh, there's the fact that um, I'm sick throughout half of this LP. I was just really confused of how I wanted to go about doing it because of uh, me not really being a fan of a lot of the Mario and Luigi games, so I didn't really know if this one would be all that fun to watch. Uh, but this one is one of my more favorite ones, and... Uh, the first one I ever played, so I still wanted to showcase it. And also just the fact that 
I had varying ideas of how I wanted to go about this LP in terms of battles and editing and whatnot, so I apologize this wasn't the most enjoyable LP if it was like very off the wall and like and overall confusing in how it was all put together, but I hope you all enjoyed it in at least some capacity. But for now, only one thing left to do. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we are headed to Shroob Castle to confront Princess Shroob. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.